So there's really just one key feature that every bone conduction headphones needs and this one has it. So these headphones today were sent over to me by Creative for review and although these were sent over to me, there were no money exchanging hands and this review is based on my honest and unbiased opinion. So Creative sells the Outlier Free Pro at $99 US and it's not exactly a budget headphones but considering how much the equivalent headphones from Shox are going for now at way less features, this is really quite a steal. So if you're interested in buying them, definitely check out my links in the description below. So design wise, the Outlier Free Pro is designed similar to most of bone conduction headphones out there and I think in this space it's quite hard to innovate further. So what you get here with these headphones is a nice rubbery material that is very smooth to the touch and for the price I will say that the build quality is actually really good. But personally I think there is two main problems with these headphones that I hope Creative can address in the future. The first problem here is with the charging situation. This headphone still uses proprietary magnetic charger, which is one of my biggest annoyance since I don't like to bring extra cables around, especially when I'm traveling. The second problem with these headphones is the fact that Creative markets this as IPX8 headphones, but proceeds to caveat it, saying you need to make sure that this rubber plug is actually plugged into the microphone. So they actually provide you with a, a plug here to plug into the microphone, saying that you need to do that in order to protect the microphone port to ensure there is no water damage and this is even on their website. So honestly this is a major inconvenience and I can assure you that this eventually will break since the rubber is so thin and I think Creative kind of knew that so inside the box here they actually give you two extra rubber rings for you to replace. So the third problem that I have with this plug is that it's very loose and just shaking the headphones hard enough and or just you know slightly tuggling it it will pop out very easily and from my test swimming with it doing freestyle swimming it did pop out at the end when I took it out from my ears, which is quite disappointing. So back to the design, apart from that, you do get three control buttons at the bottom here at the body of the headphones and also a pretty flexible neckband and also the main bone conduction uh, unit at the front here. So pretty basic design for a bone conduction headphone. So the Outlier Free Pro comes with great battery life and with a full charge, you're gonna get 10 hours of playback time and you even get quick charging with these headphones. So 10 minutes of charge will get you two hours of playback time. So charging the headphones from empty takes about two hours. However, volume with the Outlier Free Pro is not the best in my opinion for most songs and I am hovering at 90% or 100% most of the time for most songs, I just want to blast it higher than 100% but I cannot stay at 100% because bone conduction headphones, when you play at loud volumes, it does tickle your temples a little bit so that's not very nice. So Creative does include earplugs which improves volume performance but makes audio quality quite muffled so it's a case of picking your poison. So feature on the Outlier Free Pro is really good though and it comes with the latest Bluetooth 5.3 chipset supporting the AAC and SBC codec. In my opinion, AAC is not that important for a bone conduction headphones. Yes, you get better streaming quality, but audio quality here is not the main focus. You do get the IPX8 water resistant rating with these headphones and in day-to-day -day use, this is essentially waterproof. But if you want to use it for swimming, you need to remember to plug the microphones with the included rubber plug, which is a major inconvenience in my opinion. So the best features of this bone conduction headphone is that you get an 8GB internal storage for an MP3 player. And this is an important feature, especially for swimming headphones because you need an MP3 player underwater since Bluetooth doesn't transmit underwater. So finally, there is even a two-device multipoint connectivity on these headphones which is super rare for this genre of headphones. So ultimately, features on these headphones is really extensive but there are just some issues here and there that makes it not so perfect. So the best sounding bone conduction headphones I've tested so far still goes to the Nineka Runner Diver and I think it still stays the same. When you get into the territory of bone conduction headphones, you must have the expectation that you're not getting it for the audio quality and it's more for the other capabilities, the features and also the fact that it protects your ears. The Outlier Free Pro sounds like a very basic bone conduction headphones that gives you very decent quality audio. There is no bass performance and they generally sound quite flat 
but this is the expected with any bone conduction headphones. Vocals here is also decent, there's good amount of clarity but you definitely don't get a lot of details out of these headphones and that applies to the highs as well. Also with most bone conduction headphones, companies will give you an earplug to enhance the sound quality but the fact is that when you plug your ears, you get louder volume but audio quality becomes extremely muffled which honestly is not ideal for most day-to-day -day use. But if you're using it underwater, muffled is better than no audio at all. All in all, a very basic pair of bone conduction headphones. So this is the test to see if the Creative Outlier 3 Pro is a good headphones for making phone calls. And this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. Now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So without turning on the low latency mode, the latency is horrible with this headphone. So if you want to use this gate for gaming, tap four times on the multifunctional button and it brings you into low latency mode. With that enabled, latency is very good and almost non-existent. So if you don't turn on low latency mode, even movies have a slight latency. So do take note of that. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones. So I think this bone connection headphones has its merits and I believe if you use it as a normal sports headphone for non-swimming application, it's still pretty good considering it is half the price of their Shox counterpart. However, the statement that Creative warns us on their website about water damage if the mic port is not covered is a major problem for me and it scares me a lot because the plug doesn't even stay secure in a mic port which is a big no-no in my books. So what do you think about these headphones? I love to hear your opinions on them. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash the thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. If you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.